Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy, and I am in the city located at the spawn chunks of my server. Sponsored very kindly by my Patreons. And I was taken about a week ago with a strange compulsion. I felt like I could make a build that would fit in this little gap over here. And I want to tell you all about it over in our testing world. I'm not sure if you played this game as a child or perhaps even as an adult. Battleships, yes, it's a game. You kind of uh, both have little boards like this, one for your battleships down below and one, <laughs> I can't believe I just broke that, for setting up all your equipment uh, down. So let's say that you came along and you were setting up your battleships like this. And of course your friends would come along and set up their battleships in some sort of other order, just like so. You would come along and be like hey have you got uh, something at a1 uh, and you would put down something to mark that you made that call your friend would be like a1 let me have a look that's a miss and so you mark it off as a miss they come along and be like okay have you got anything at c1 uh, that comes along yes got c1 that's a hit bam okay beautiful but what, what about these buttons here i mean wouldn't it be great if we could actually like get some sort of animation going to uh, represent your actual strike well there's a, a sticky piston under Beneath, so we could uh, pow power that and yes break the actual battleship I, th I think this is a great idea and this sent me off on a little bit of a rabbit hole look at this monstrous beast so of course here is the uh, the grid for us to lay down where our battleships belong something like this of course traditionally we have anything up to five long I don't know whether we're going to be doing that but we, we could do something better something more or less than five we could do three four I, I, I don't know I don't know uh, I'm planning to do something better than these gold blocks I'm thinking little maps would work but i wanted to transfer the signal from here to another one over this side wow this is a, a bit of a mess over here and I, my first thought was hey let's take some observers here we, it's a nice easy way to get a signal from each individual button and we just kind of like pass this around in a great big long ribbon uh, but i almost instantly ran into issues if i just like did the, the the first thing that came to mind you can see that i want blue red green yellow blue red green yellow well actually what i've got over here is red blue yellow green this is like not the right way round even even coming down and doing weird things like this ended up not being the right orientation I, I did figure out a way of doing it but look at look at this madness that had to happen here so I was like no that's not the way we're going to do it and I'm going to quickly jump into bed in fact just before I jump into bed let's take a moment to quickly have a look around this test world what a what a trashed mess place this is there is stuff everywhere you can never really figure out a, a great way to store my test worlds but anyway after f figuring out that this is probably not the way forwards I moved over to this situation once again we've got the the board and the selection on both sides over here uh, and then we have a system that works via the magic of signal strength so we've got this comparator at the end of every row this is the first thing to notice that each of these comparators line up to one of each of these rows here um, uh, so you press a button and the repeater sends out a signal and basically the signal strength tells the comparator how far away the repeater that turned on was so if it was this one a signal strength of 15 would go in if it was this one it would be 14 13 12 blah -dee blah as you can imagine i then use this weird system of using uh comparator block redstone dust block back to comparator block redstone dust block this is a, a a nice system that works in any direction it is a little bit slow but it works for our needs there are faster ways of doing stuff i was experimenting over there do i have a spy glass there, there's where we go there's a, a faster way of transmitting signal over there but for my first pass this was pretty good uh it came to this six situation here where we did a little bit of signal processing because we're not using a 15 wide uh 15 wide board we do have to reduce the number somewhat and then this voodoo magic here takes the incoming signal splits it into two one higher than the other one that has the original signal you pass in and one that is what one lower somehow this processes that to only give out one signal which pushes up the piston that corresponds to what you pushed over on this side 
But back in the overworld, this was a gigantic thing. I literally had nowhere of putting it. I, I just didn't even know what we could... Oh, I've been moving the wrong one. Oh, that's that's not great. Uh, I, I just didn't even know where we could fit it. This, of course, a schematic from the like Matica mod. There are no actual blocks being placed there. Not using my uh, my server powers for anything nefarious. Uh, so I realised that this wasn't going to going to work. If I can actually fly down there, let, let's go and have a look. Uh, there there is, there is no way that we we're going to be able to access this play area at the front here, and this ex this play area at the back here, and kind of like not just completely destroy three blocks of the city or something like that. So I, I feel like I needed a different solution. Uh, and this solution, of course, was to turn them side by side next to each other. Let's, let, let's have a look over here. So this looks more complicated than it actually is. It's still the three basic systems. This comparator here tells us how far away the button is from the comparator. We then immediately have to swap sides because, of course, this button doesn't want to go down to this play area. Uh, this button wants to go over to this area. So th this whole little rainbow strip, which I think is the most impressive looking piece of redstone I have ever undertaken, uh, is literally just to get the signal from one side to the other without a conflict going between the two. And oh man, did we have some conflicts while I was pushing this, putting this together. Uh, we, we had bleed overs over this way. I had to like put the target blocks to make sure the fact like if I took this, uh, this target block away, you can see the redstone dust goes side to side that means that it won't power this block here oh you had to put that there instead now, th this, this was quite quite a headache i figured out how to transmit the signal a little bit faster and then of course it all gets just put back into this decoder to uh, to push up the button should we should, should we do one okay we, we're gonna do a1 and we're gonna look a1 over here bam it goes up i suppose i should really have put a uh, uh, an item frame on there because that's what you're doing you go a1 and it pops. Uh, I have checked to make sure that this is reachable from everywhere in survival. Oh man, was it in survival? Let's uh, stand right on the edge. Yeah, we, we, we can do every, every place here uh, in survival, so that's pretty good. I love the way you get to watch the redstone flash up. I need to figure out... Oh, let's get back into creative in the creative world. I need to figure out how to make this visible but without being huge. And this is what it looks like in place. Obviously, there's going to be a fair bit of digging that needs to happen here, but I also need to go around and grab a fair chunk of materials. Of course, there is a lot of wool being used in this. A lot, a lot of redstone. I don't I don't even know how much. Should we, should we have a look? Let's go into this configuration over here because it does give me a materials list down the side. Just... 915 redstone dust, 784 observers. This is going to be quite a lot more blue wool than quartz slabs. Interesting. So lime wool has the shortest trace. Okay, that's that's interesting. Red is one of the, the longer ones. Okay, that's that's cool. It's a alternate use for that configuration. And what an undertaking gathering all these resources is becoming. So I've got the majority of the wool covered and what I don't have here in my base, I'm sure my good buddy and friend Landstrider has down at his shop just outside the spawn chunks. It's a nice little shop that keeps wool restocked with a nice little automatic system down there. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I also managed to find enough redstone for all of our redstone needs. Even managed to get a bunch of repeaters made back here and a bunch of extra of course i've got a i've got a witch farm you know that i spent the best part of a year digging out a witch farm and making it as uh, as, as high returns as possible and then put this terrible uh, system into it that doesn't actually knock the witches off the ice as quick as possible but the, the, this is all conversations for another day the point is i've got a lot of redstone kicking around at the time but there was two other items on the list two big items that i didn't notice uh, the best part of 700 observers and 300 or so comparators that's uh, that's a lot of quartz and this is all the quartz that I've got to my name I went and raided out my little uh, nether alcove over there let's go and have a look at it I keep most of my nether materials over here quite uh, nicely sorted by what's on the floor got all the nylums over here and this is where all my quartz was so that's uh, that's a bit of a problem emptied that out I also went to the gold farm and the nether emptied out all the quartz from the piglin area down there uh, and uh, yeah, this this is this is what I came up with. This is all that I ended up with. 
And so with my shulker box in hand, or at least in my inventory, and a, a splash potion of fire resistance in my hot bar, because you never know when you're going to need one, I need to go to one of the more chaotic areas of the server. So there's spawn just up there, and down here, I, I don't know who originally dug this tunnel. I suppose I could uh, check the server logs to find out. We do have complete block logging after all. Uh, every block that gets changed is recorded by, as who did it. But man, look at this down. Ooh, there's already some of uh, some quartz over there I think wise came along and did a lot of this blasting there's uh, some some various sites to be had down here obviously back there is the lava uh, lava waterfalls that's a, a rather interesting area but if I head more over this way there's there's something that I found was having a little explore around that I'd kind of like to show you guys but I feel like this is not quite the right way. I, ju I just had to persevere. So pushing through all of the lava falls over there. We've got, look at this. Look at this giant wall of lava. I oh, this is this is amazing. I absolutely adore this. I don't know who caused this to happen, uh, but th yeah, this is this is wonderful. I've, I've not even picked up any uh, nether rack for pillaring up for the quartz. Am I might. Am I about to set myself on fire? Is this is this something that's about to happen? Do you, do you know what else that I think is about to happen? I, I don't know about you guys, but I want to know what's what's in there. What, what What's actually going on in there? I've got a feeling we're not going to see too much. Let me just grab these. This is very important. This, this is why I'm in the nether. I need to grab as much of this as possible. But you know what? I, I've got I've got other other things that I can be doing as well. I've got this splash potion and I want to just go for a bit of a swim. Is it? Oh, man, it's just just a wall. It's just a wall. Someone's got a, got a hidden little space back here. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, I think I know where I am. I I think I know where I am. All right, got rid of my pillar. And I think if I just kind of come around this way somewhere, I might find signs of habitation. Yes, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I do know where I am. So, uh, in, in the lava, I, I saw some... Oh, who only has a ladder nowadays? I suppose there is no no bubble vaters in the Never. So yeah, I saw I saw some brick and some some sandstone. I I thought this is where I was. Yes, indeed, we're at, we're at Forest Weird Sand Temple in the Nether. Oh, it's iconic. Been hit by a few ghasts a few times. So this is now my life down amongst the chaos, running around trying to spot any uh, quartz that I can. I think I'm... Oh, no, I can't just outright kill this guy. The problem with these uh, is if... Oh, is he going to do it himself? No. Sometimes they, they wander underneath single blocks. Let's see if I can artificially make this happen here. Uh, and that kills the, the zombie on its back, leaving a chicken to just not be part of the mob cap. Because passive mobs and hostile mobs have separate mob caps. And then you just end up with lots of chickens everywhere. It's... Uh, it's quite annoying. No, he's not going to demonstrate it. But I can't, I can't just kill him because there's a load of them around. They never spawn alone. No, no. If there's more efficient way of finding quartz in the never than looking sideways and just letting your pickaxe do the work, I would like to hear it because I feel like this is a, a very quick way of exposing a lot of surface area very quickly. Thankfully, whoever was digging most of these areas was not interested in the quartz whatsoever. I believe this was mostly blasting for netherite scraps. Did all of that manage to... No! Into the lava with it. Uh, but if I uh, if I feel like this area is running a little low, and that I can, if I can find my way out of here, this isn't the only area where we can go and get quartz from. Trying to navigate your way out of here is actually no joke. Oh, absolute nightmare to find this place. I had to, like, find zero, zero, and then just kind of spiral out from there for a little bit. Zero, zero, just over there on that little land block, it turns out. Okay, um, walk, walk my way up here to show you the next spot. So, back in the spawn. I mean, there's zombified piglin everywhere. We should pr probably build a thing here at some point 
Still no idea what though. Uh, down here we have the, uh, the the Helix Corp blasting zone. This is where Landstrider, back when we thought that the world border was going to be uh, moved from 10,000 blocks out uh, because of the 1.18 update, before I found out that I could just delete chunks that had a certain uh, age limit on them. Every time we update now, any chunk that's had less than an hour play time, you know, in total, we're not getting rid of any uh, any chunks just because we had an update. Any chunks that had less than an hour total play time are out of there, and uh, th this means that most people have new new spawn stuff so that they could very well because of this update be an ancient sea just outside my base i mean it wouldn't be just outside my base because i've explored quite well around there but they, less than 100 blocks away from my base i reckon M maybe not the ancient sea but there's caves that could potentially hold an ancient sea i believe the ancient sea is quite rare i might be wrong though oh what does this one do Nothing, I can, I can see it does nothing. Probably shouldn't go around pressing random buttons on the server. You never know what they're gonna do. I did know this one wouldn't do anything though. Anyway, whilst that other weirdo that was just talking to you goes around and looks for a bit of quartz, should we take part in the newest attraction at spawn? Just as the sun is starting to go down. All right, brilliant, brilliant. That, that's not gonna be a problem. Over here, you might notice there's a new bit of water and we've got a little brewing set up. Spawn dropper, it just lists out point values for the different colors that we've got up there. Pink one point, orange two points, black five points. Drink a slow full po potion, jump from the platform and land on the pressure plates. These pressure plates over here. <laughs> this That's cool, I, I like this, I like this very, very much. If you hear the note blocks, you hit the side and fail. There's trip wires running down the side. I don't know if you can see them kind of coming across here and off to each of the note blocks. blocks. I then just pass it round through a bunch of comparators so the signal decays slowly over time as it goes round and round the circle. And if I put something nicer than what we've got underneath the note blocks, we actually get a nice musical sound. Mm, I don't really have the emerald blocks. So what, what, what does gold blocks give? I don't, I don't know what, what tune gold blocks do. Oh wait, this isn't snow. <laughs> Turns out I concreted everywhere. Explains why, why the sound is so horrible. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah, also phantoms, great. Never fear, there's never a bed far away in spawn. I could probably get them with my riptide, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just, I'm just gonna sleep and watch them burn. Okay, so they've all got blocks under them. I'm just kind of going to go around and hit... I was going to try and hit a random number, but I'm hitting the same number on each time, so we're just going to have a slightly higher shift. Let me go around and hit these a random number of t Ooh, hello. Let me go around and hit these a random number of times each, and maybe we will uh, get ourselves to... I don't know, something approaching a tune. Okay, and then if you miss the side... <laughs> that, that was horrific, but I like it. I like it. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it And so this should enable you with the points value and a fail or win condition Go into the brewing stand grab yourself a slowful potion and go up here. Uh, don't don't eat on the way up I've, I've, I've done this by accident before uh, you just end up open and closing the trap doors. It, it's not great It's not great uh, don't worry about drowning inside the bubble column. You're in a bubble column. You can breathe it, it turns out. Now, I personally, me, the player, wouldn't want to try and breathe water that's just full of air bubbles. I could I could see myself filling up my lungs with all sorts of horrificness there, but uh, I suppose Minecraft players built differently. Okay, th this, this good view's up here. I need to hit black one over there. There's another one. Let's 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 get my spyglass out. Let's let's have a look. I mean, I personally did put this course together, so I sh I should know the best route. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, there's another one there, and another one all the way down there. And if I can hit any more on the way, that would be fun. I reckon if I was actually starting over there, we could come through this way. But that's not what I'm gonna do now. Let's do it. Okay, drank and go. I suppose jumping off the side might be a slightly better way of doing things. Five points. Do you reckon we can get uh, another three points? here. I think it was three points. It might be two. Uh, that's another five. Beautiful. So we're at uh, 15 and a bit so far. Uh, that That's 15 plus six. 21. 21 points so far. And now I've just got to stick the landing. All right. 21 points. That, that, that was pretty good. I, I could have done much worse there. Thank you. Take the book uh, and then just like don't 
don't sign the book, please. Okay, verified leaderboard, Twitchy, 21 points. Bam, grab it, That that's great. That's gonna make it so that anyone who's made a video or like some way of proving that they did do the thing that they did, great. Uh, next page over, just, you know, if you're just here for some fun and you, you can't record anything, that, that's fine, that's fine. But you know, vi video videos are cool, I like, I like videos. It has taken a few hours over a couple of evenings, but me and Miss Align have gone out and gone, done all the mining for quartz that we needed to do, and we've managed to get about a shulker box full of quartz each, which is very handy for what I need to do next. Which, of course, is to go back to my base and take this shulker box full of quartz. I need to make something on order of 300 comparators and of course after that I need to make about 700, maybe even 800 observers. Yeah, 784. Yeah, I, I, I need an awful lot of observers. Ooh, we're di dive, dive, dive. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sometimes I come through that hole just a little bit close. And through the magic of jump cuts, we've got all the material, not that one, the all the materials that we need for this build. So I think, really, there's only one thing left to do. That's right. Let's start a time lapse. time lapse together and I also look like putting redstone together so this was quite the project for me I absolutely loved this one Ooh, I think we got some testing that we need to do just to make sure that we can write this one off as good I've managed to get myself stuck down you know what we need we need a bubble vator up there I'll do that another day though indeed this whole project still has a lot of things that need to be done like getting the maps ready for the battleships trying to integrate this in a little bit more maybe not making a death pit for everybody to fall in a bit of glass maybe something like that but that's all going to be for another day so uh subscribe with notifications if you want to be told about that uh but we, we, we're gonna do some tests and i'm gonna do the classic diagonal test because this tells me that every every row should be accessible also i've uh, i've gone ahead and put these trap doors here this is a new invention a new new consideration so that we can't see the maps that, that that's going on over there we can't see where our competitors has put stuff but if we come forwards, we, we can kind of see the first two rows there. So we need to try and figure out a way of stopping that. Maybe we'll have a little diagonal wall just to uh, just to block the line of sight from the front here. Okay, so uh, we, we should be able to press all the way across these diagonal buttons. Yes, survival reach for the win. Do we get to see uh, any of the uh, the redstone ticking over? The, this one should now flash. I saw, I saw some flashing. I saw some flashing. Uh, we're not going to be able to stand here and watch them all. You don't really see the torches turn. Oh, of course, because it's only singular torch, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. We're just going to uh, run our way down here. The, the most uh, exciting one to be watched is actually the, the red one down the bottom here, if we can reach it. It takes the longest time to travel. There it goes. Whoop. And hopefully now all of the slabs 
are up high. Yeah, brilliant. This means the entire system works, at least as far as I'm going to test it for each row. Uh, we'll, we'll do, I'll do that, that side off, uh, off camera. But uh, before we go, I got, I got something else to show you. So if we fly towards my farm slash UFO landing site over here, you can see there's a window underneath the water. Indeed, down here there is a door. I believe Purple Dragon Nuke was the person who made this. Purple Nuke Dragon? What, what, what are those two? I'm afraid I can't remember off the top of my head. Great door. Love it. Works underwater. It is amazing. So down here we have my storage system. I don't want to see my storage system though. Let's, uh, let's carry on walking through to t the two rooms that I feel like have the best visual payoff. Oh, those slimes really want to sh slow me down. So this is my equipment room with base chicken inside it. Alright buddy, how's it going? But you might notice there's a few things that kind of disappointing about this. One, I don't have a spare elytra kicking around anywhere and I've got these like labelled armor stands that don't actually have anything on them at the moment. I feel like these are things that I should have uh, like a, an all-round kit. But I'm wearing the all-round kit right now. In fact, I'm not wearing I'm not wearing the turtle helmet, but that, that would have made the all-round kit. But, you know, you want a fire suit and stuff like that. So, I mean, those are more things we're going to be doing in the future. But this, like, did you see that? That that payoff of walking through here, just through going, oh, it's, it's, it's a great little room. And then whoosh, opens up. It goes quite deep. Uh, it, it's kind of fog effect down there. I like the way uh, I had to kind of make some some concessions with these pillars because I couldn't, I couldn't put the, gl the glass butting up against the other glass. It just kind of disappeared. So I had to do the white down there and I think it works out quite well at just fading away. So I've got my music room. I've got the everything. This, this is something we're gonna, gonna work on over here. Oh no. Okay, so as I was trying to say, this is kind of like my collections corridor. Through here, I have uh, things that I want to, to, to collect. Over here, I want to make an everything book. Also, doesn't doesn't this look amazing? I like the way this is uh, this set, set up here. Uh, I want to make a book that has every single top-level enchantment you can get on it. Uh, I think that would be great. This, this this room, I love this room. This is this is amazing. Of course, it is just concrete, uh, black concrete. Uh, music room over there, as I say. This... Uh, we do have the more heads data pack on, so I want to I want to make a headroom over here, and turning around this corner. This is probably what we're going to be doing next time. This is my banner room, and as you can tell by some of the blank pa patterns behind us, I am missing a few. These are the specialist patterns that you can get the actual pattern for. Flower charge, nice and easy. All I needed to do was put a flower with a piece of paper. But we got some other ones here, like the thing banner. Can I actually make the thing banner right now? I've got two enchanted golden apples. One of them was specifically for this. So if I take the thing banner paper and mix it with the enchanted apple, bam, we've got the thing. Look at that beautiful. Where's my axe? Uh, I was going to have a button here to push a, uh, a piston out, but it turns out that you can't actually push a block with a piston that's on it. Quite disappointing. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to take this banner. Oh, we should we should get one that complements the other. We're going to go with a yellow yellow banner with a purple symbol on it. Beautiful. And so that's what we're going to be doing next time. Most of the others are not so simple over here. Snout pattern. And we've got the creeper face. Uh, we have the skull and crossbones. And of course the globe pattern. All need a considerable effort to go and get. And I will see you then. Oh, and we're going to do that. Bye.